Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Combo Breaker 99. I'm back with another post fight analysis video. All right, y'all. Lauren Murphy versus Joanne Calderwood. So, yeah, man, I, I picked a split decision in this fight. You know, I picked a split decision going uh, JoJo's way just because I felt like with both of these fighters, with the lack of defense and the fact they like to go tit for tat, blow for blow, you know, to give a shot, they'll take two shots. You know, I knew there was going to be a lot of moments like that in this fight. And I just feel like the edge would go to JoJo just because she has more in her arsenal. I feel like she switches it up, you know, punches and kicks. Whereas Lauren Murphy, she can stay more so dedicated to her boxing, you know, the hands mostly. But um, I, I would say like throughout this fight, you know, I felt JoJo, she did have the better, the better variety, you know, as far as landing leg kicks and punches. But of course, in that second round, you know, Lauren Murphy, she did dominate. You know, she took the fight to the ground. So the second round, hands down, went to her. And the first round... There were some tit for tat moments, but I thought if you know the judges were looking clearly, they would have seen that JoJo was landing the better variety, in my opinion. Because I watched the fight twice, you know, up until now, just to really get a good look at it, and I felt like JoJo did enough in the first round and the third round, uh, you know, to uh, get the split decision. You know, um, yeah, because I, I knew that this was one of those type of fights where it was going to go very, it was going to go down to the wire. You know, whoever was doing the most in those. Um, you know in those last few minutes of the uh, of each round you know and i felt jojo she was edging it but neither fighter really re neither fighter really went on their like their kill mode in this fight neither fighter really went on kill mode to really say they were going to make a big statement that's why it was a tough fight to call like you know i knew it would be a split decision but i just had to go with jojo in this fight but lauren murphy she got it man uh, lucky lauren murphy she was able to get the decision win and uh yeah man uh, so let's look back at the fight real quick so the first round you know, I felt JoJo was keeping the distance well early on. You know, she was kind of measuring and uh, using lateral movement, and she was able to land a good spinning back fist. And she was landing some nice kicks to the body and sticking the jab out. Uh, Lauren Murphy, she did come in for a takedown attempt, and JoJo, she was able to stop it. And she was coming back with some good knees in the clinch. Uh, Murphy was able to stick that jab out a couple of times as well, and she stuck JoJo with a good one-two. And like I said, JoJo keeps her head on the line. That's why she's going to eat shots like that. But again, JoJo, she would come back with more low kicks, you know, on the um, – outer outer lead leg and the inner part of the lead leg of Lauren Murphy and then Murphy she would come back landing her jab but to me Jojo she was sticking it out more and mixing up the right hand and landing you know those uh glancing head kicks you know she was mixing it up and again in the clinch Jojo she landed some nice knees and on the break she landed a nice right hand to the body and elbows like as soon as they clinch she started landing her right hand to the body and those elbows like Jojo will dog with you you know when she gets on the inside she'll start dogging first and landing those blows so I figured that counted for some. I know there was a lot of trading moments, but I thought JoJo landed the more effective blows and just did the more dog work in there. Um, second round, of course, <laughs> of course, this was all Lauren Murphy, no doubt. I mean, to avoid getting pieced up, Murphy, she went straight in after eating a big right hand and a body kick. You know, for like the first minute, JoJo was controlling the pace, but Lauren Murphy real quick switched levels, got the fight to the ground. Jo uh, Murphy, she was able to wrap the legs up kept top position kept kept jojo on her side at this awkward angle where she only had one hand free and lauren murphy just kept striking and mauling you know almost looking to get the finish looked like she almost like tried for that rear naked choke but jojo was able to uh keep kind of squirming around and keep from keep uh, lauren murphy from getting on her back but other than that jojo she was just on her back towards like the last couple minutes of the round murphy went to the side control and just controlled the round all the way so that round hands down definitely went to murphy so from here i know some people felt like it was uh one to one but it was definitely getting, you know, pretty close here. So last round, JoJo, she opened up with a big right hand, looking to turn it up a little bit. She was walking Murphy down. She was jabbing, mixing up the strikes. Murphy looked a little bit gassed because she used so much en energy in that second round. And JoJo was uh, coming back with those level changes. You know, she was coming back with her own level changes, you know, again, hitting those legs, hitting with a straight jab down the middle, putting the punches together, just all around nice punches from JoJo. You know, she's real good with her offense. It's just her defense lacks. That's why she's getting touched up making these rounds close and uh murphy like i said she started looking like she was gassed out a little bit because when she was coming in with those takedowns trying to switch levels jojo would see him coming and she would just kind of stuff him and take a step back and again in that tight clinch jojo landed more hard knees jojo just putting the damage on murphy you know she started to kind of open up a little cut over that right brow of uh, lauren murphy murphy was able to land that jab too but again jojo just landed more left hooks and body kicks and just mixed it up well in my opinion so i had it two to one for jojo calderwood i thought she landed the more effective strikes but i guess once again you know people saw something different in the first round they thought murphy landed the better shots which i could see that i could definitely see that but like I said, it's one of those fights where if you want to make a statement, you can just make this fight of the night. You know, stop going in there, trade and trying to go blow for blow and try, stop trying to look for a scrap if you're looking to be a title contender. You know what I mean? If you want to 
If you want to win a title eliminator, if you want to make your fight a title eliminator, you got to go in there outclass opponents. You know, even if it was to be boring or if you were to make it one sided where you try to stop somebody, that's how you get your title eliminator. But there were too many close moments for both fighters. You know, I felt like Lauren Murphy, she didn't excel. She didn't bring that Carlos Parza energy, that Jan Jana type energy in that type of fight where they were looking to get a title. But, you know, she got the edge. You know, she got lucky in this one. But um, from here, I don't know, man. Like, I'm going to have to talk about this in another video because I want to know where the energy is. Like, I felt like these two fighters, they wanted to fight. They wanted to answer the call. They definitely acknowledged each other as far as wanting to fight. But neither fighter really said, look, I'm ready to beat this person up. I'm ready to beat JoJo up. I'm ready to beat Lauren Murphy up because I'm coming after Valentina. Nobody really said that. You know, I feel like Carla Sparza was carrying that energy into her fight. That's why she's making a stronger argument for a title shot, you know, because Jan Jana, she said, I'm going to stop Carla Sparza because I want to go for the title. Carla Sparza said, look, we need some new blood. So after I beat Jan Jana, I want to I want the rematch with Rose Namajunas. You know, there was more energy there. But this fight is kind of like if it comes, it comes. So I think that's what kind of made it lackluster for people as far as like they, they, they didn't really care what happened because there was really no what's next after this. You know, they didn't really kind of leave us hanging with that. Um, overall, it was a good fight, though. You know, JoJo and Lauren Murphy, they definitely put on an exciting fight. You know, um, JoJo will bring, you know, great offense to a fight. But as far as, like, excelling to that next level, I didn't get that vibe from either fighter. But, I mean, from here, Lauren Murphy deserves the title shot. She's on a five-fight winning streak, whether or not she called it out. Dana White has to acknowledge that and just go ahead and say, all right, next title contender, maybe by the end of this year, maybe September or October. Um, maybe December, I guess, at this point. Valentina versus uh, Lauren Murphy should happen, right? Um, as for JoJo, I guess she's going to have to fight somebody down the ladder. Uh, maybe a rematch with Jennifer Maya. Maybe a fight with Taylor Santos. If Taylor Santos gets past Mandy Bowen, that would be a good fight because I'm ready for these uh, prospects on the come up to start, you know, fighting with these these veterans, you know, because these prospects on the come up, they want to fight. You know, they want to challenge, you know, Manon Firo, Miranda Maverick, Taylor Santos, and so on. Those type of fighters. They want to climb the ladder, you know, so let them let them fighters fighters start invading the top 10 guys. But, yeah, man, that's pretty much all I got. I'm just like I said, I watched it twice. I still feel like Jojo Carter would won the fight by a split decision. And, um, yeah, let me know, guys, in the comment section what y'all think. Probably be on with a live stream tomorrow night. You know, got some stuff going on today. But, yeah, I'll be with y'all tomorrow at 7 p.m. We'll do a live stream and we'll talk more about these fights and just overall the energy, man. We got to talk about the energy with these flyweights not calling out the champion, you know come on y'all got to make some noise that it makes it makes dana white's job so much easier if they say i want valentina next you know what i mean but yeah guys i'm out combo breaker 99 make sure y'all subscribe peace